Chris, you start. You sure? Absolutely, Chris. This is yours for the taking. Go ahead. You start. Kick it off. OK. In the A&E department... There's a new case just through the door, and it's not for the squeamish. Over in Sheffield Accident and Emergency Department, 15-year-old Abdul is waiting with his mother. Now, that's what you call a bandage. It's a whopper. I slipped and banged my head. How did he do that? It was lunchtime at Abdul's school. Hmm, lunchtime? Was it fish and chips? No idea. Abdul was actually playing five-a-side football with his mates. Yes, but does he want salt and vinegar? Aren't concentrate. Everyone knows there's no food allowed in the sports hall. Good point. Now Abdul is the star striker. He had the goal in his sights. He reached for the ball. Nothing can stop this lad from scoring. Well, nothing except sliding headfirst into a door. Ouch! How are you feeling now, Abdul? My forehead is open. Open? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Get Dr. Claire O'Connell in here quick. First, Dr. Claire takes a look at that bonce. Here comes a gross alert. Whoa! You've got quite an impressive cut on your head. A big bump to the head always needs to be checked by a doctor because it could cause concussion. Keep looking at my finger. Which is a minor brain injury. I'm not going to get stitches. Probably. Tough luck, Abdul. Nurse Emma gets to work with anaesthetic gel to numb the whole area. I'm just going to use some water just to clean it a little bit. OK. Get ready again. Mega gross alert. No, I mean it. If you're squeamish, you won't want to see what's coming next. Is that skull? Yep. You've actually cracked the bone on the front of your head. What we're going to need to do is a special scanner called the CT scan. The CT scan takes detailed 3D images of Abdul's head. Find out what the results are later on. Back in the emergency department, Abdul is waiting for news of his CT scan. Come on, Chris, let's see how he's getting on. Earlier, Abdul arrived in the emergency department with... Uber gross alert! A deep cut and skull fracture. Super striker Abdul was playing footy with his mates, but rather than hitting the back of the net, he hit a door head first. Ouch! Abdul has had a 3D CT scan of his skull and brain. The results are in. You've broken your skull at the front here. <laughs> because of that, it's likely that you'll probably have to stay in hospital tonight. With any head injury, it's always possible that something will develop. And because he's got the fracture, the neurosurgeons need to observe him closely to make sure he doesn't deteriorate. Time to hand over to Dr Hassan Siddiqui, AKA the Super Stitcher. Once the anaesthetic kicks in, Dr. Hassan has this all sewn up. Ready for some blood? He starts with dissolvable stitches in the deep tissue. He then sews up the middle layer before finishing with finer thread on the surface, which will need to be removed in a week. It's a lot of stitches. What's the score? 31. Wow! And he's as cool as a cucumber. It was a long procedure and he's relaxed and staying still and quite impressive. It's not hurting as it was before. I think I can handle it. Abdul heads up to the ward for an overnight stay. It's a new day. How are you feeling, Abdul? Yeah, I feel better yesterday. Yesterday I had a little bit of headache and that, but it got better and better. Does this mean he can go home, dog? Abdul is OK to be discharged home, but he will need to take a rest <laughs> from activities for a period of about three months. Three months? That's ages. But it will give Abdul's skull fracture time to heal under the wound. Maybe rest up on the headers, Abdul. Bye! <laughs>